my honor and privilege to welcome you to probably my favorite event of, of the year, next to graduation, and that is the Green Tie Gala. Uh, I take a few notes so I don't mess things up. I've done that in the past, and so I've learned my lessons. Uh, so I'd like to welcome all the parents, students, families, and guests. Uh, and if you don't know me, I'm the principal here at Cary High School. Uh, to the 16th annual Green Tie Gala. What a great day. I mean, I'm so excited to share this event with you. I saw some alumni out in the lobby. It's always great to see the alumni come home. Any alumni in the house? There we go. We got some alumni here. So I'd like to thank all of you for showing your love and support to our students and to their passions for the arts by joining us today. I'd also like to welcome a couple of our special guests who are in attendance tonight. First, I'm going to introduce, and you probably can't see him because the room is dark, uh, but it's Mr. Janiel Teander. And Mr. Teander is a longtime friend of Mr. Jimmy Burns. You've probably heard that name before. He's an acclaimed Cary High School band director who also happens to have a road named after him here on campus. In addition to being Mr. Burns' friend, Mr. Teander is a music composer. He lives here in Cary. He composed a piece that we'll actually be performing later in the show this evening. So we'll make sure we make it Make it a point to point out that piece when the time comes. So join me in welcoming Mr. Tander to the I would also like to, to acknowledge and thank Mr. Bo Reese. Bo Reese is in the audience tonight, and he is the K-12 coordinating teacher for the arts here in Wake County. And he is always a strong supporter of Cary High School and all of our uh, artistic endeavors. So please join me in thanking Mr. Reese for being here. And now as a matter of housekeeping, I, I would like to invite you to take out your phones and to place them on silent, or better yet, turn them off. Um, I'd also ask that if you have small children, and we welcome children to the event, but if they get a little, little squeamish tonight, or if they become a little restless, we do invite you just to take them on a walk in the lobby until they get some energy out and then bring them back in for the rest of the show. Former Texas Congresswoman Barbara Jordan once said, the arts are not a frill. The arts are a response to our individuality and to our nature and help to shape our identity. What is there that can transcend deep differences and the stubborn divisions. The arts. They have a wonderful universality. Art has the potential to unify. It can speak in many languages without a translator. The arts do not discriminate. The arts can lift us up. So I invite you to sit back, enjoy the show tonight, and be uplifted. To begin our gal this evening, we will open with the singing of the Star Spangled Banner and the presentation of the colors by the Cary High School's own NJROTC Honor Guard. As a sign of respect, I ask that you please rise and remain standing until the colors are retired from the stage. Enjoy the show.
Sheldon. Awesome. So we are here to do a very quick improv game for y'all. Just act as a little buffer in between the acts. And the game that we're going to be playing, well, first of all, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Greta. This is Sarah, Joe, and Hannah. So the game that we're going to be playing is called Slideshow, where we're going to get um, a suggestion from y'all, obviously. And Hannah is going to make it into a scene. Or she's going to be going on a vacation or a trip, or even she just went out to run errands. And she's going to use the suggestion, and she's going to turn that into a slideshow, basically. But of course, she doesn't have an actual slideshow up, which is why the three of us are going to act as stills from the slideshow. Lights are going to go off. A spotlight is going to go on her, where she starts talking about what, ha what is happening in the slideshow. When she claps, the lights come on, and the three of us are in different positions just being a little silly, and Hannah has to justify that as what is going on at that point in her trip. Does that make sense? Okay, perfect. So let's just start with, get me a place that you normally wouldn't go to vacation. Not Papua New Guinea. No! <laughs> the dog, oh, we, we did one like that last show. I really like that one. All right, y'all. We're doing jail. Take it as you will, Hannah. Okay, I'm putting the microphone up. Hannah's gonna clap. Lights are gonna go off. Full lights gonna go on. And we hope that y'all enjoy our little pro show. Hi guys, my name my name's Smeed. Um, so you you may you may have heard of those uh, scared straight programs, uh, you know where they take those like uh, like little kids to jail and are like you don't want to do a like a crime. Well, I'm I'm a tour guide on one of those. It's rough life, but you know it pays the bills. And. <laughs> So, you know, the kids aren't usually all that excited to go to the jails, and so here I am. I'm, I'm like, ooh, I'm going to make these kids excited to not go to jail ever again because they don't want to be here. And I'm scheming. I'm like, I'm a good tour guide. And here are the little kids, and, you know, some of them are a little, little excited to go to jail, maybe. They, 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 they think it, it might, it's cool, it's edgy, it's hip. It's not! You don't want to go to jail, kids. And so, like, this guy, he's rightfully terrified. He's like, eh, 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 and he's scared. And I am, I am, again, I am just trying to make them moderately enjoy this trip, but not enough to want to stay in jail. <laughs> and it was all going well, and we were making good progress, and the kids seemed like they were moderately enjoying this trip, but also moderately terrified for their lives, which is exactly how we want them. And then... <laughs> But it was baseball day in the in the prison yard, and they were all out running. And you know how kids are with balls and bats. They're like, oh yay, sport, sport. They love their sport. But this, they they just can't acknowledge that this sport is not for them. It's for the prisoners who are very dangerous, mind you. And they are running out there. They're trying to participate. Here's this one prisoner. He's like, he's like. Oh, I don't want to see these kids. I don't like kids. Like, get them away from me. Ew. I was out here to play some baseball with my prison pals. And then, here is me. Again, I'm trying to wrangle these children like my life depends on it. Or at least my salary. And here they are. They are kicking and screaming. I want to play ball. I want to play ball. And I say, no. No ball. The prison looks like fun to you. No. And I send them right back to their group of other little kids. And you would think, you would think, huh, wouldn't you, that it couldn't get much worse than this, yet somehow, oh, they gotta make me employee of the month. 
monk for this, I swear. <laughs> I am. I am. Here I am. You know, I might have gotten a bit, a bit too upset, mind you. Um, but I am. I am saying. I'm saying. You kids better stay in line. You kids better get in line and stay in line. I don't want to ever see you here ever again. Not in prison. Not in jail. No. Uh. Uh. No. And this kid, he's just screaming right back at me. Let me play baseball. I want to play baseball. Put me in jail. And I'm saying no. And here is the teacher of this group, who is just unimpressed with this whole trip and did not want to come in the first place, does not think this is a right, rightful program to influence our young students with, and she is just like, ew. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's thinking, maybe we need, to inf uh, we need to reform the justice system, I don't know. But, yeah, I, we calmed down after that. Unfortunately, I don't have any pictures of that, so you'll just have to trust me. But that was a day in the life as me. The, uh, pr 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 you get it. <laughs>
it's not right. You go and discover for yourself. Well, I'd miss you if you were gone. You would? Not in a dopey way. Not in a crazy, hopeless, I'm so in love with her, but she doesn't know I'm alive kind of way. Not like that at all. Uh, gotta go. Thank you, Flounder. You're too sweet. My father's never even met a human, and he still thinks the worst of them. I just don't understand how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a girl? The girl who has everything. I thought gadgets and gizmos are plenty. I thought who's it's and what's it's galore. You won't think I'm a boss? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. some answers. What's a fire and why is it? What's the word? But when's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore that shore of love? Out of the sea. Darling, your barrage on your legato, 
even your belt. They're all be safe and sound in me. <laughs> but without my voice, how are you happy looks? Your pretty face. And don't underestimate the power of bodily water. The men of that are like a lot of lava. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Your so man is much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, they want an idle prattle for. Come on! They're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and swoon and fall on a lady who's withdrawn. And she who holds her tongue who gets her man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul! Go ahead! Make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day for my much. Just your voice, you poor unfortunate soul. It's sad, but true. If you want to cross a bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a go and take a breath. Go ahead and sign the scroll of Mr. Yasin. Now I've got her now. The boss is on a road. You poor.
Once you know that word, there ain't nothing you can do. And that's how positivity works for you. Thank you. 
the feelings that I feel. If only I could tell you what I'm dying to reveal. The dreams I can't declare, the needs I can't deny. You'd understand them all if only you would try. about her that's so wonderfully, impossibly familiar? Why do I feel dizzy in a way I've only felt good once before? How come when she looks at me it seems like time stops moving? Almost like the way it did that day of the show. Somebody else's name. 
I'm going up down But that is a big mistake Just look at the world around you Right here on the ocean floor Such wonderful things around you What more is you looking for? Under the sea Under the sea Darling, it's better Don't worry, it's better Take it from me Up on the shore, they work all day out in the sun, this never way While we devote in full time to floating under the sea Down here all the fish is happy As off through the waves they roar The fish all around they happy This happens in the hole The fish in the hole is lucky The for a worse of fish When the boss gets hungry Guess who's gonna be on the plate? Uh -oh. Under the sea, under the sea, nobody beat us, fry us and eat us in frequency. We want the land for the stuff to cook. Under the sea, we have the fun. We got no troubles. Life is deep. Under the sea.
Before we do our next piece, we are so excited to have Janil Teander, the composer of our next selection, sing the music of America with us this evening. Janil came to me a few months ago and introduced me to this wonderful piece that celebrates how music brings joy to life and how the music of America can unify all of us. Janil says in his program notes that 65 years ago, Hawaii and Alaska gained statehood and extended our boundaries. He also told me that he, as he is friends with Jimmy Burns, the longtime band director at Gary High in the 1970s and 80s, and supporter of our music program all these years, who just turned 90 on April 15th, and 65 years ago also, he was best man at his wedding. There are so many great connections that run deep throughout all the years of Gary High. In Sing the Music of America, Janil also said that this piece, he thinks of an imaginary triangle which ends in North Carolina. We honor the waves of Hawaii, the glaciers of Alaska, and our sands of flight. Gradually, we realized that New York to California did not provide the complete picture. Many have embraced the notion that by talking with each other, we could solve most of our problems. But imagine what could be accomplished if we dusted off our vocal cords and sang together. We all hope that you enjoy singing the music of America, and I'm so glad that Janiel and his wife are here with us this evening to hear the piece. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ty, you've learned uplifted before the show, and i got to tell you, my soul soared tonight because of these amazingly talented individuals up here on the stage. Let's hear one more time for these kids. We certainly are so thrilled that we were able to spend this evening with you. I want to take just a moment to acknowledge and just give a huge shout out to the tremendous visual arts display that we had in the lobby when we were waiting for the Just in case we have any of these folks with us in the audience, and I, I want to give a shout out and a huge thank you to the graduating class of 1973. They gave us $3,500 with their reunion, and we used those to buy those art display boards that you saw out there to really showcase that work. So thank you for that generous, generous, generous gift. Thanks to our accompanist tonight, who I think, I don't know if she's on the stage or if she's out there in the, in the crowd, but Miss Janet Trotter, who is down here helping. All throughout the movie, thank you so much, Miss Trotter, for being such a soldier for our awesome and giving And now I want to just, uh, again, we saw the talents up here, and those talents are brought to this. They're cultivated, they're nurtured, not just by you as parents at home, but by these amazingly talented educators that I have on the stage who put their heart and soul into helping our children be the best that they can be and shine in these moments on the stage. So I want to give, first I want to give a shout out and I want to give a recognition to the ones that help shine out there in the lobby, our visual arts teachers, and that would be Ms. Rachel Euro and Mr. Eric White. Let's hear it for our visual arts teachers. I hear there's some very special art projects in the works for the end of the year, too, that some of our upperclassmen might do some sculptures you might see around campus, so we look forward to unveiling those. I also now want to uh, thank the teachers who helped prepare the students who perform on the stage tonight, and so I'm going to start with our newest addition, well, one of our newest additions, actually. We have two new additions, but uh, Ms. Haley Batts is our orchestra teacher. How New addition, Miss Abby Savathan, our drummer. <laughs> and now, not only is he our band director, he's also probably my tenant because I think he lives here most uh, evenings. <laughs> he's here on the weekends. He's here all the time, working with our uh, competitive groups that are here. The man with rhythm, and we saw it on the stage tonight, Mr. Chris Foster, our band director. lovingly called the OG of the Fine Arts Department, the man who keeps us all headed in the right direction, our choral director and department chair, Mr. Ed Yossi. make this another special night. The 16th annual was even better than all the other 15 I've seen before and it's going to get better every year. So we want to see you back here next year as we celebrate the Arts at Cary High School. Thanks for coming. Have a safe evening and thanks for carrying your children with us.